हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू फील फॉर साइंस यूट्यूब चैनल एंड आई एम चेतन फुलावरे इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी पार्शली लर्न अबाउट डिजाइन ऑफ वॉटर सप्लाई सिस्टम वी कवर डिजाइन ऑफ ई एस आर एंड पंपिंग मशीनरी इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिजाइन राइजिंग मेन एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन नेटवर्क डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन नेटवर्क डिजाइन बींग अ सॉफ्टवेयर बेस सो आई विल ओनली इंट्रोड्यूस सॉफ्टवेयर विच इज डिजाइन इन आई टी बॉम्बे सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विथ राइजिंग मेन Design of rising main means selecting the optimized available standard diameter of the rising main pipe. If we survey some pipe in the market, we will get fixed diameter pipes or in DSR document of each district where you can get all available di diameters. To select diameter, we will use cost criteria as it is obvious. Means we will select diameter which has lowest total capitalized cost. There are three factors on which total cost of rising main depends on which are pump cost pipe cost maintenance and energy cost now we will see this one by one the pump cost is calculated by multiplying the cost of pump unit per kilowatt with total kilowatt energy required this cost of pump per kilowatt required can be searched in the catalog of pump suppliers or from market and kilowatt energy is nothing but power of pump we calculated in previous video i would suggest watching first video for understanding this keeping all parameters same the head calculated here is slightly different which can be given as sum of the static head plus friction head loss plus other losses here we have replaced the velocity head with other losses and the other losses are considered to be 10% of frictional head loss and another thing is that in previous video we calculated power in hp unit and for rising main we need that power in kilowatt unit so we will multiply with 0.746 now coming back to our equation if we are using standby pump then our kilowatt required will be this now another cost is total pipe cost the total pipe cost is equal to the rising main length which we needed in meters into the cost of pipe per meter we will get the rising main length from site survey pipe cost per meter will be different for each pipe diameter which can be found out from store the last cost is maintenance and energy charges and these charges are a product of annual mnd charges and scheme design period in our case it was 15 years that is from 2020 to 2035 the annual mnd charges are given by pump capacity in kilowatt into annual charges pump capacity we have already calculated these annual charges are calculated by average pumping hours into energy charges per kilowatt hour into 365.25 days divided by 1000 these average pumping hours can simply find out by pumping hours at 2035 multiply by average discharge upon discharge at 2035 here this average discharge is just average taken of demands of 2020 and 2035 now by addition of these three costs we will get total capitalized cost for the particular diameter of rising main likewise we will calculate this capitalized cost for other diameters so comparing different diameter pipes you can get a diameter pipe which has minimum capitalized cost this way we have designed the rising main up to this you can see this calculation can be very hectic but don't worry soon i will be coming up with an application which is built by me and in that you will get a desired output by giving input of required parameters so stay connected now we will move forward to distribution network for this we need to find the optimized network in the sense of diameter length losses and cost there are softwares available such as branch but i will recommend you more optimize open source application 
and it is Jal Tantra, which is designed in IIT Bombay. I will show the website and the link is in the description. Here is the website. The application is available as a web-based application and desktop application. And your tutorial is also available from which you can easily learn it. I will show just layout to you. So this is how web-based application look. Here in this section you have to fill required data and after giving inputs just click optimize from this to get desired pipe diameters with cost, losses and pressure. You can save input and output in Excel XML format from here. You can upload branch file also. So just go through the tutorial and you will understand everything. Thus we have completed our designing of water supply system. Soon I will show my application built for designing of water supply system. Till that keep learning. So thank you guys for watching video. Let me know you liked video or not by hitting like button and giving feedback in comment section. And do subscribe as I will be coming up with detailed and interesting videos.